What is cam timing? Why is it important? And I'm going to show you guys a real easy way to set up or fix your cam timing. Hunting season here in Pennsylvania is officially over and it's time to get out to the 3D bow, target bow, whatever you want to call it. If you look right here on your cam, every cam has a cam stop. Okay, on the top and bottom cam. What I'll do to check my timing without a draw board is grab a hand scale because it has a hook on it so I don't have to rack an arrow or use a release. And I'll put my bow towards the ground and pull up. If you watch this cam stop right here, it'll roll around and it'll hit the cable. And when you get to your back wall, you can feel which stopper is hitting first, either your top cam or your bottom cam. Just light tugs at your back wall and you can feel which stop is off. So you'll notice with this bow in the draw board that my top cam is almost a quarter inch off. We'll go down to the bottom cam. If you look at that stop, that bottom cam is just barely touching the bow string. So what we need to do is if your top cam's off away from this stop like this, away from your bow string, we're gonna take a full twist out of the bottom bus cable. And the reason we do that is because if I take a twist out of the bottom bus cable, it's gonna relax the top cam and bring it closer to the bow string. So we're gonna put this bow in the bow press and take one full twist out of the bottom bus cable. We can't forget our giant mug of coffee. So I got my bow in the bow press. I'm gonna pop that bus cable off. And just take a twist out of it. Right now, at this point, I should be pretty equal with the bottom cam now. So we'll throw it in the draw board and see where we're at. I ended up taking two twists out of that bottom cam. So you can see now that that cam stop is just barely touching the string. We'll go down to the bottom one. And you can see it's just barely touching that bow string. That's where we want it. But I ended up taking uh, two twists out of that cable instead of one to get where I needed to be. When I'm trying to adjust my cams, make sure the timing's perfect. One rule that I'll follow is I'll always do it the same way. In other words, if my cam stop is further away from the bow string at the top, I'll always take a twist out of the bottom bus cable. I always follow that pattern so I don't get it backwards or get all confused. One of the reasons your cam timing has to be perfect is because without perfect cam timing, your arrows won't launch correctly from your bow. You're gonna have trouble tuning your bow your arrow flight will be absolutely horrible if your cam timing is off. I also wanted to mention there are a couple of bows, like some of the Matthews bows, have a feature on it where you can just look right here. They have a hole in the cam where your string goes right through that hole to check your cam timing. But it's still always good to check your timing using your cam stops and a draw board or do the pullback like I showed you guys earlier. So I hope this helps you guys. It was a real simple way to adjust your cam timing. You just have to do it in a consistent way and do it the same every time.